I'm going to start by applying my vertical measurement on the body of the body on the pattern the bust length, the waist length, and the bodice length. I'll mark this measurement at two different points and use ruler to connect them so I can get a straight line across the pattern. This is my bust line. And this is the waist line. And this is body length. For this pattern, my body length is also my hip length. Next, I'll take the horizontal measurements. So that that's measurements that go around the body. These measurements, we're going to divide them by four. The round bust, the round waist, and the round hip. Our round waist will add one inch to it to make allowance for what we'll take out of the that line. Next, I'll measure my shoulder measurements. Shoulder measurements is divided by two. Then I'm going to create my neckline. I'm using three by three ball. You can alter this based on whatever neckline you want to use. Then to get the slope for the shoulder, I'm going to drop the shoulder by one inch. To create the armhole, armhole line, we'll divide the bust measurement by six and add one and a half it i take the measurement across the points so i can have a straight line across the measurement taken at the close end we're going to add that one inch that we, we took out for the shoulder slope so that it will be equal across on both sides i connect the neckline to the one inch drop to form my shoulder slope I'll take the shoulder measurement at the ammo line so that I can have a straight measurement. To get the ammo curve, we'll divide the ammo line by two and then go in by three quarter. Then I'll connect this point with using my curve ruler. I'm just taking the same bust measurement on this line. To draw the bottom curve, you need a curve driller, but mine is broken, so I'm going to use freehand to draw it. Next, we're going to create our dart line. Our dart line is the bust band divided by two. Bust band is nipple to nipple measurement. So I'll take this measurement across the bust line, waistline, and hip line. But the dart line is going to start one inch below the bust line and end two inches above the bodice line. I'm going to draw this line connecting the one inch mark to the two inch mark. To create that line, we're going to take half inch measurement at both sides of the line and connect it to the top and bottom of the dart line. Next, I'm going to just measure, I'm just going to label my part as my center front CF and as the side front SF. So I'm going to create the back pattern, draft back pattern for this bodies. The pattern is almost the same thing, just a few things that are different with it. So I'll be replicating a lot of things that I've done before. I'm just measuring the bust line, the round waist, adding the one inch to it. And the round hip and I'll connect all these lines together to form my shape body shape this 
this is my shoulder line I'm going to mark my shoulder line at the armhole line and at the top so I can get a straight line I'm measuring the same one inch drop and I'll measure the round neck the round neck I'm using three inches by one and a half inch for the back of the bodies and I connect this neckline to to the armhole line so now the next thing I'm going to do is to create the armhole curve to do that I'm going to divide this line by two inches and go in by half inch remember we went in by three quarter for the front but the back is not as deep as the front so we'll just go in by half inch and join the lines together just as we did for the front pattern next i'll be drafting the dart line for the back the dart line for the back it's the same as the front but the only difference is that it doesn't stop it doesn't start one inch below the bust line it starts at the bust line and ends two inches above the bodies just as the front i'll take half an inch on both sides of this line and connect it just as i did in the front this is the basic part bodies pattern that you need for whatever you want to sew you, you just alter it to how you want it to be mind you when you're cutting on your clothes you have to add your allowance on all the sides of the pattern if you're going to have like zip allowance you're going to add allowance at the back also so that you have allowance for the zip allowance this is the front and this is the back pattern thank you for watching please like and subscribe to my youtube channel i hope you learned from this video